Good day and welcome to the Procon YouTube channel. My name is Anami and I'm a Procon Technical Consultant. Today I will be starting my series of videos demonstrating Sumo. With Sumo you can model and analyze structural models and it also offers design links with Procon steel, concrete and timber modules. In today's video I will demonstrate the following. The user interface and importing frame and DWGs as well as adding sections and materials to Sumo. As you can see in front of me, I have opened my Procon CalPad. To open Sumo, I just go to Analysis and you'll see, for those of you who are familiar with Frame Analysis, right next to Frame Analysis, there is a Sumo icon. On opening Sumo, you can see that Sumo looks a lot different than Frame Analysis. The main difference between Sumo and Frame Analysis is user interface and modeling. In Sumo, it is not required of you to enter any node numbers and then connect them. With Sumo, you physically add your structural elements, like beams, columns, and slabs. And Sumo will take care of the node numbers in the background for you. The user interface of Sumo is very intuitive and easy to work with. As you can see, you have different panels here. Over here, you have your workspace panel, your properties panel, and your input tables. You can customize this. For instance, I can take this panel and I can move it around. I can place it there. You can see it shows you where it's going to place it. Or you can even move this off screen if you would like, if you are working, if you are working with a second screen. In today's video, I just want to show you, if I go to File, if you are working with Frame Analysis, Sumo does offer the capability to import or export Sumo models to and from Frame. So moving over from Frame to Sumo shouldn't be very difficult. I'm going to start off with importing a DWG. So over there, I'm just going to click on import DWG and let's select this DWG file. And I'm just going to say import. As you can see there, you have your layers, prefix and suffix that you can add to. These layers are your layers that you would have in your CAD program. For instance, your AutoCAD layers. Sumo brings your AutoCAD layers in as groups. Okay, but I will get to that. Okay, you also have your DWG units here. In my AutoCAD file, I used millimeters, so I'm just gonna change that to millimeters and level is level zero. Level zero is your default level. You can create additional levels beforehand in Sumo and then import a DWG file onto a level. So I'm just going to say okay, and you can see there that my DWG file has been imported. If I now go to my top view and I select one of these lines, you can see in properties that it gives you the properties of that line. If you are familiar with CAD software, like let's say Revit or AutoCAD, then you'll recognize it's the same properties palette. So anything that is selected, let's say select all of this, it will show the properties for those lines. You can make changes to this. You'll see there the group there is automatically level one grid, that's from AutoCAD, and you can change the color, line style, and so on. Okay, and you can see that uh, there that I have imported a DWG file. You, these are just normal lines. You can change them around or you can move this. Let's say I want to move this to my origin. So I'll just say move. You can see I'm snapping there to my lines. I'm snapping to my origin. I just want to change this to zero, zero, zero and say enter. Okay, and there's my DWG file, and I can now create my model according to this. You can import any DWG plan and create your model with your columns, beams, and slabs, and so on according to that. Next, before I start creating my model, I'm going to go to sections, and I want to add sections and materials. So here at the bottom, in my input tables, you'll see there's this sections and materials. So very similar to frame analysis, I'm going to import some sections. You'll see it just looks different, but it is the same section database that you would normally use in frame analysis. You can see that here in the bottom database if you are unsure. Okay, so I'm just going to import this section, the I section, and another I section there. Let's just choose that one, and I'll just select them and add them. If I click on the drop down here at the top, you'll see you have all of your section types that you can choose from. You have I sections, H sections, and so on. Okay, and I wanna add concrete sections as well, so I'm going to go to rectangular solid concrete, and I wanna add this 250 by 250 rectangular solid concrete section. And just add that, and you'll see, it gives you a list of what's being imported, and I'll just say okay, and then in my input tables, there's a list of imported sections. 
I'm going to do with the same with materials. I'm going to add steel, I'll add that one, and then for concrete, I'm going to add the TMPA concrete, and just once again say okay. And before I carry on, I just need to first go and say that I want this to be steel, and this is also a steel section, so I'm just assigning the material to the right section. Okay, so that's all that I wanted to show for this video. In my next video, we're going to start modeling a basic structure. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Remember, Procon is an Autodesk Gold Partner and Authorized Developer Training and Certification Center. Please make sure to follow us on social media to get the latest news and updates. And visit our website at www.procon.com.